I'm Barbara Bromley for the WZBN Garden Report. Welcome back after a long winter that wasn't really as much a winter as we're used to having. So now that you're getting out into the garden, what is it you're supposed to be doing? Many of you have grown the ornamental grasses and have not yet cut them back. And generally, this is a project that we do around the end of March. However, this year, because it's been so mild, it would be time to cut them back if you haven't done so already. So if you have an ornamental grass like this penicetum, all you do is you cut it back down to about six to eight inches. You can save the straw that you're harvesting off them to use as a mulch in your garden, or you can compost it or you can shred it up into little bits. It's up to you. Many of you have lost trees or shrubs or all kinds of plants because of the vagaries of the weather, especially over the last couple of years. So maybe you're intending to plant something this spring. Maybe you're even going to start a vegetable garden. Whatever you're going to do before you put that spade in the ground, make sure that you make that telephone call, call before you dig. If you dial 811, or you can even go on the internet, they will come and mark your utilities so that there is no chance that when you do dig, you cut into one of their lines. That would not be a good thing. So please make that phone call. And give yourself at least three business days before you intend to actually do the digging. Another thing about a spring coming as early as this one appears to is the fact that the trees and a lot of the shrubs are already putting out pollen. So for those of you who have a sensitivity to certain tree pollens, perhaps, you're going to be sneezing or you're going to be pretty congested. This particular yew has its flowers already on it, and when I hit it, you can see the yellow dust that's coming off the plant. This is the pollen. It's waxier and heavier. Usually, it's not as big a problem for people as the pollen of this maple tree. Many of you are already concerned because some of your flowers, for example, daffodils, are blooming a lot earlier than they normally would. Two, possibly even three weeks earlier. It's not going to hurt the plant. If we should happen to get some really, really cold temperatures, maybe it's going to damage the flowers, but the bulb itself should still be fine. If you have questions about spring gardening, I will be lecturing on Tuesday at the Mercer Connections, and you can call their office to reserve a seat. That's this week's Garden Report. I'll see you back here next week.